How to install Wirebash Mod Manager for Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout 3, and any of the games that it supports. However, for the video, we will be using Oblivion as an example. Now, the first thing you need to do is go to the Wirebash page on Nexus Mods, and I'll have it linked in the description. Once you are there, you'll need to scroll down and go to the Files tab and download the installer version. Now, it has two of the versions the Python source and the stand standalone. However, you need to use the installer as the installer is the easiest one. The Python one is for if you are working on the mod manager itself and standalone is a more manual version of installing it, but I recommend using the installer version. Once you do that, just click on it, click on save it, and wait for it to download. After it's downloaded, go to your downloads page and extract the file. After you've extracted it, just go ahead and click on the installer thing, hit next, and on this page you will it'll show you all of the Elder Scrolls games that you have. What you need to do is just just only have the ones that you want to install Wirebash for clicked. So in my case it'll just be Oblivion, so I'll click the rest and make sure that you have clicked the standalone version. After that just click next and it'll show you all of the Fallout games you have. So if you have it for any of the Fallout games, you can go ahead and click those there. But since I don't have one, I'm just moving on. Now on this page, if there is one that, that works for Wirebash and is not listed, click that, go to the three dots, and then find it there. If not, then just click next. Now on here you have the option to do the uh, shortcuts in the menu, but I really don't need to do that. and It's not, it's not for everyone, so I just, just click install. As you do click install and hit next, we have the option to use a readme and to go ahead and load it up. I'm going to go ahead and load it up, I don't really care about reading the readme. So once you hit close, it will go ahead and load up Wire Bash. Now this won't be the main way you will get to go here. What you need to do first is go into your, is go to, toward your Oblivion directory or wherever that may be. It's for, it'll be wherever you see the Oblivion.exe file at Oblivion Launcher. Once you're there, go into the Mopey folder, which is where it installs into, and find the Wirebash.exe, and go ahead and make that a shortcut. This Wirebash.exe is basically the exact same thing that loads this up. It, it is Wirebash itself. So after you've done that, if you want to install a mod, you will need to go over to the Installers tab. Now you'll have to wait a second for it to do that, whatever it's doing. And sometimes once you go there, you'll have to click a box that says to enable. However, if you don't, just make sure it has a check mark on the enable thing. If it doesn't have the check mark, just click on the enable and it'll give you the option to go ahead and enable it. So make sure you do that or none of the mods will work. Now, to install a mod, we'll be using Obli Oblivion, unofficial Oblivion patch as an example. And to install mods, you need to make sure you use the manual download, as mod manager download is only for Nexus mod manager. However, this is equally just as simple. If you just click that, and click download, and go to your downloads folder. Once you're there, just drag the 7-zip file, or the unextracted file, just whatever it is as soon as you download it. Drag it into Wirebash and click the yes button. After that, right click it, and then go down to install, and that will install the game or the mod. After you install it, then you need to go over to the to that tab and then make sure you click all the boxes that you want to enable as after clicking the box it does it makes it, it makes the mod work in total. So if you want to disable a mod you just unclick it and it still leaves the mod installed but it just doesn't work. Now the next step after you do this it would be to install a mo a mod organizer or a, lo or a load list organizer whatever it's called. And the one I recommend would be Boss. So once you go to the Boss page, which is linked in the description, I recommend you go using the GitHub one. You can use the other one, it seems the same to me, but I just prefer GitHub. And download the installer. You can do the others, but the installer is just the easiest version, so we're just going to go with that since there's no reason not to use the easiest one. After it's done downloading, just go ahead and extract the file. Once you did that, go into the folder and then just click on the install. Click English. 
Go or whatever language you might have and click next to you to this page. And here you will pick which folder you want to install it into. I want to put it into a different hard drive than it defaults to. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll type in the name of the file which for simplicity's sake I'll just make it boss. After you do that just click next, wait for it to install and once you click next again you have the option to go ahead and run it once which I will do and it also show you the readme page. Now when you run it it will give you this option just go ahead and click whichever one you want to sort your load list for in my case oblivion so I'm going to hit zero after you do that it will send you to a website which you know one of the boss types and it will tell you if there's any issues but what it also does is update your master list and make it all work better so the next few time, whenever for the time we need to do it it's best to just go ahead and go to the boss folder find the boss thing.exe and then make it into a shortcut to put on your desktop or whatever else you want it to be whatever your mods are just go ahead and have that so every time you install a bunch of mods before you play the game after installing mods always remember to run that as it will make your game run a whole lot better and avoid any conflicts and other issues that may arise when modding now there is one more thing you will need to do and that will be to invalidate your BSA archives or just go to that page and click to do what I tell you to do on there but I have heard that Wirebash does this for you however I am not 100% sure on that as I don't remember reading it on the Wirebash thing so just go ahead and do this just to be sure because some mods don't work and without doing this and make sure also make sure you use the manual version because you kind of have to use the manual version not really sure why they include the mod manager but whatever once you do that, just go ahead and go to downloads and click on the installer, which is already there for you. You don't have to extract it. Just click yes, and then just click next. Once it opens up, click accept, hit next, hit next again. Then make sure that is your Oblivion page, and then just hit next one more time, and then hit install. And after after you click finish afterward, then you're done. That's all I had to do for inst installing that. There's only one other thing you need to install to get a more complete experience when modding, and that is to install Oblivion Script Extender. However, that's a video for another day. This is